good, y'all. So in this video, I'm going to be reacting to Bruce apologize to Kai or apologize in general. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, this is the reactor JB, JBM or the YouTuber JBM Fargo, I believe is his name is the video um, where I got the video from. Um, but yeah, so I, I mean, I'm not sure the details of this so we're gonna find out after about a year of streaming on an unfiltered quote-unquote competitor kick this comes after a year that was very eventful and was even toxic at times but in a turn of events bruce would finally own up to his mistakes get it bro i look like the, i am the head because as black men we supposed to be together i that up chat i take that on the chin any any day but we're gonna get into it though there's a few things i gotta speak on on may 31st 2023 bruce drop him off announced his signing to kick streamers like xqc and your rage made the move to kick shortly after but your rage still streams on twitch to this day in his first stream bruce will go oh, off any and everyone he has smoke with they they say sell out sell out this sell out that sell out selling out on the street for five thousand dollars if i come to him and say come out for five thousand on god on god you selling out you know you is so i don't understand like what the you broke be talking about selling out you go to work every day that's not a sellout if they're my friends then i feel like they should start like they should know like that isn't really that cool and it could also lead into problems that don't need to be even like a problem you feel me just because of content that's not content content has been dead and you have been gassing the lamest yes. the lamest the internet ain't real no more that's one of the reasons why i went to kick i started doing monkey and being toxic nowadays you can't even say what you want to say no more because oh, oh, oh i don't want to uh, that and all these I'm, oh you're going to kick so racist uh, uh, uh. i don't give a about that i was on twitch for 10 years as a kid when it was the most racist i've been getting called since i was 13. dumb little boy so what are you talking about to make it when if you don't talk on my name make make sense because a lot of you be talking and don't even be making sense at all bruce made the move to kick for the freedom it gave him coming up he always said anything he wanted to unapologetically and around the golden era of youtube it was little to no consequences for reasons i explained in previous videos bruce had a falling out with kai around the time that he moved to kick comparing twitch yeah, to a slave know. plantation with kai being twitch's slave aiden ross would egg this on by baiting kai into oh, saying something that. controversial and kai obviously didn't like this so it was basically a fake beef between kick and twitch with a real conflict being mixed within it kai your rage and aiden had no real issues but bruce had issues with kai and it got worse after bruce's messages with his mods got leaked then y'all play blind to the eye that y'all want to play blind to bro You've been disrespecting me trying to little bro me for the longest and niggas want to talk about oh i feel like little nigga well i feel like people trying to little bro me what <laughs> what y'all been you've been allowing your friend to talk bad about me i'll never let a nigga talk bad about my friend who i hang around that's the boys lame ass that's lame ass shit you niggas can't call a spade for a spade bro real shit bro y'all can't bro y'all niggas is lame this shit has been going on for months y'all i know these niggas in real life like i said bro y'all niggas is not y'all don't know nothing after the situation bruce will do his own thing with kick being a place he could chill with his supporters without having to filter his words but not without some controversy that i admit was not bruce's fault half the time one thing that i would notice is that bruce would criticize kick for big issues on a platform like view botting for example this is where the noticeable cracks started to show as far as him leaving kick altogether how do y'all feel about that bar real mainly all in here sucking my <laughs> no cap like it's so crazy it's so in front of y'all face and y'all just fake to like accept it fast forward to about a month ago i covered another situation where bruce went off on your rage and his community right, for various reasons this. this ultimately turned into bruce going off on another streamer annoying tv for reacting to my video on the oh, conflict oh, and oh okay no i didn't see nothing with annoying tv i know he put out a diss i never listened to it but i remember the crab in the barrel ass niggas. <laughs> That's what I remember from that situation. And talks crazy about annoying sickle cell condition. Bruce, drop him off his back. Crash out on your favorite streamer. I never once disrespected no, you. You acted like a f***ing emotional bitch. Get out of here. <laughs> look, 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 look. Let me tell you something, rap. Let me tell you something, rap. I'm kick shit like this, chat. I will punch a f***ing hole in your chest, nigga. Watch who the f*** you talking to. I'm not finna yell back and forth with a nigga that got sickle cell. I will put you in a f***ing crisis, nigga. Understand me? The fact that you can even see the niggas who talking shit about me makes my point valid enough for you to hop off my motherfucking dick annoying responded with a diss track which wasn't really that bad for his standards bruce responded on twitter with a video of max b and people hinted at him making a diss track of his own but it turned out to be someone else's song which was actually his artist in his return stream to about forty thousand viewers bruce says that he's grateful to kick but calls out the people who view bot i was always able to stream on twitch the, the who never stopped watching know that or paid attention to smart people not the kids you know know that obviously but what i don't like is how people feel so comfortable to speak on my business when they don't speak to me in general and Obviously, you know, I handled it behind the scenes, obviously. But yeah, Trainwreck said something about me losing a deal. No, I didn't take the second deal because they was trying to make me sign an NDA chat. And you know, I am not going. But it's all love to kick. It's all love to kick because you know what's crazy? They're still giving new and up and coming people opportunity. And they gave me one of the best opportunities I've ever accomplished ever in my life. Thanks to kick, I'm able to build the DEO fortress. I'm able to purchase my first acre of land. 
I will forever be in debt to Kit. But y'all got some kids on there, man. And a lot of them viewers ain't real. So stop view buying. Everybody in the streaming industry, stop view buying, bro. Like I'm, I'm talking to y'all as a streamer. You know who I'm talking to too, bro. Stop trying to make y'all selves seem bigger than what y'all is, bro. Just work for that oh, so shit. He be calling mofos out for shit. And of course, people not gonna like that. I don't know the ins and outs, and I think I'm burning something. So hold on. I'm off is that 300 viewers? Then you got a nobody gives a about. They send out a tweet. They get 500 likes, and this ain't hating, bitch. This is speaking the real. Nobody gives a about them. Nobody cares. They're really not known other than TikTok clips because they pay to get posted on TikTok because the kick clipping system is garbage. They just. 10,000 viewers, 20,000 viewers. Ah. <laughs> Tell them niggas to post on Instagram and Twitter chat. That's how you see the real on <laughs> everything. Bruce follows this up by saying that the last year on kick was probably one of his worst. Cause I done seen the worst side of it and I done seen the best side of it. The worst side being on kick for the year. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's the worst time I've ever had in streaming. The beginning was cool, but I learned so much behind the scenes from like being behind the scenes and knowing shit. And it just kind of my love for streaming being on that side if I'm being honest with you. Cause I got lazy and yeah, you probably seen the number that I was making an hour. I ain't gonna say if it's true or not. Cause that ain't none of y'all goddamn business, but you know what I'm saying? It, it killed my motivation for it because it, it was no creativity within it. It's just do the crazy or you're lame, or it's like go outside and argue with a, with a, with a or you're lame. <laughs> or I think I kind of agree with him. Like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling what he's saying right now. And usually I don't, cause I've never been really like a big Bruce person before all of this, to be honest, he just wasn't didn't capture me, you know? I just wasn't vibing with him. But I kind of feel what he's saying right now, I think, unless we're about to take a turn. Or suck on stream or you're Quilly. Why are you not sucking You're Quilly, put in your mouth, you're Quilly. And probably the most important part of his return, he basically owns up to his mistakes. Get it, bro. I look like I am the kid, because as black men, we supposed to be together. I that up, chat. I take that on the chin any any day i that up i know that but don't keep egging on and like trying to make me seem like i killed somebody bro yeah i kind of miss what we have bro no i'm being for <laughs> y'all see bro y'all be laughing y'all be laughing i'm so dead ass bro like i you know i can admit my wrongs Jeff. you know what i'm saying bruce then talks about how he's been doing a lot of reflecting lately and shows love to a lot of people including kai and rage yeah respect to everybody is love to everybody love to otk love to kick love to shit even miss kip bro even miss kip like i i just been thinking about when i take a break y'all i think about everything that, that happened you feel me like that's when i take time and 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 think you know like dante dante ain't never stopped hitting me up and p chris love you boy you the one <laughs> you the one um dude love dude uh it's love to cause love to rage it's love to everybody chat like i really genuinely don't give about anything that y'all think y'all know on the internet but i promise to god on everything i love I want everybody to succeed. I'm not even gonna lie, this is an unexpected change of tune, but I can respect the growth. I feel like if all sides eventually move past it, then there shouldn't be- I don't think Kai moving past it. I don't know, he seemed to be the only one that was very standing in his position, like, fuck no, I can't trust you, and that's just that. Um, and you always have to wonder what people's motives are, you never know. You never know if people are like, I, I don't know. I'm not speaking and saying, oh, he fell off or he did this and that. And so now this is his reason. I'm not saying that. But I'm, I'm just, as other people, you might want to, you know, second guess. Like, um, you just, are you, as, are your intentions genuine? You know? I don't know. I know him and Rage had like an on and off friendship after it words. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if this is genuine growth, then great for him. If not, then... I guess it's about to be more drama. Anyways, y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'll see y'all in the next one.